All right, so now we're done rendering. Uh, I switched to a different computer because it's the computer I have After Effects on. And uh, so the uh, render is the, uh, the, la the rendering video is this. It's gonna pop up, it's gonna do all that. And it gives you a second thing called, uh, that has a dot ACE on it. So um, to get this to import into After Effects, uh, when you go into Cinema 4D, uh, Maximon folder, uh, you'll see Exchange Plugins. You go into that, you click on After Effects, and uh, you should have a plugin for After Effects there. Um, and then you just put it in your Plugins folder for After Effects, in the After Effects Plugins folder. So, and then when that's all done, uh, you go into After Effects and import it, and it will import the video into it and the camera and light like you'll see the camera and light in there and I'll just show you all that um I did two video two renders because this render was not long enough uh it ends off too quickly uh so I had to make a second one where it's same position as the ending ending render, render. uh so don't do that um now, when we're in After Effects, I uh, already had mine put in, and you know, so um, I'm gonna start a new project. Um, now I'm gonna come into File, Import, File. I'll go to Desktop, and I'm gonna click on Ghost AEC. Um, Oh, let me rename this to where it has a dot a a c dot a e c. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. Um, After Effects, import file, desktop, Ghost A E C. All right, now it's going to give you this little folder. You uh, bring it down, and you got your composition of the uh, you got your composition of the rendered video, and here is your uh, rendered video right here. It comes with it as well, and see here it all is. You got everything, um, but if you go into your uh, If you go into the comp, you'll see there's a camera uh, that moves around. Uh, if we go to top view, I guess, yeah, see there's the camera. Uh, as it goes through, it moves around. See, there's the camera, and it's all keyframed and everything. And here the light that here's the light that I entered right there, this includes all the 3D data. But we're not gonna mess with any of that in After Effects. So, um, we're gonna come into here, and we're gonna start adding in all of our uh, clouds and whatnot to give it that look. Um, first, we're gonna start off with our background layer, um, create new solid, White doesn't really matter. Effect, noise, um, fractal noise. And we're going to mess with the contrast and uh, brightness of it to give it that dark clouds look you saw in the video. Um, bring this up just a little bit more. All right. And we'll do spline. Let's see, yeah, there you go. It's a little bit more it's complexity. We'll turn that up a little. All right, so there's our background. If we drop it behind the ghost movie, you see that now the text layer is on top. So that's what we really want right there. And uh, we're just gonna give the um, fractal noise in the back a little bit of evolution movement. Uh, so take it to the very end and we'll just, we came framed it at the beginning and we'll take it to the very end and move it forward a little. So it just 
slowly moves through the video while uh, slowly moves around while the text is moving so it's just not so still and whatnot so uh, now we're gonna start adding in the After Effects uh, composited video so I'm gonna go to my uh, I'm gonna go here I placed mine in my bridge Adobe bridge so I'm gonna go to browse presets for me I don't know where yours is but got away from on the startup slow there it is alright so I'm gonna go into action essentials 2 um, where is it uh, atmospheres I think this is it yeah this is it we're gonna use atmosphere 7 for the clouds and now we're gonna double click on this it's gonna pop it into here we're gonna drop the F atmosphere clouds above everything else um, and you'll see that it's starting to come into the video right there. Now we're going to have to make multiple layers of this so it gets that effect. So we'll just command D this a good bit. Um, and then, uh, actually, no, never mind. Let's take that all back down. Uh, let's duplicate it once. Uh, rotate this one. Put it right there. All right, uh, we got that right there. Now we're gonna duplicate this, duplicate both layers a couple of times. And we're gonna start uh, moving them around and messing uh, messing with their timing so they're not all, not all at once. So we'll just start from the bottom Move it forward some, move it back some, move it forward a little bit, forward a little bit. It doesn't matter, just do what you feel. Um, going to move that forward, move this back a lot. Actually, move a couple of these back a lot. Uh, move this forward, move this back. Um, move this forward, move this back. All right, so you got this cool little thing going on. But I think all these are lasting, um, are moving too fast as they're going through it. I've learned that it moves too fast when you run through the whole thing. So we're going to go over here, click on all of them right click and uh, go to time stretch and 200% turn it up to 200% and when you come into here and you play it through it's gonna move slow and gentle like and whatnot and um, we're gonna enter in one more um, of those videos and it's gonna be atmosphere one so Take that in there, drop that on top of all of them. And uh, we're just going to move this one up just a little about right there. So it's moving across, but this isn't going to come in for a good bit. We're going to wait until the... Uh, the word is all the way out. So... We're gonna come about right here. 